Anthem on the track Uh, yeah Uh, yeah Killing shit Yeah, uh, yeah, look I'm from the city where the bums rich yeah. Skyscrapers block the rays when the sun hits One time coming, niggas run quick By the time a baby walk, he got a gun grip I was made for this, yeah I was made for this, I was made for this, yeah I was made for this, I'm not a product of the cages that they raised us in Bred to be a king, I'm not a slave to this, yeah I was made for this, yeah I was made for this, I was made for this, yeah I was made for this, I'm not a product of the cages that they raised us in Bred to be a king, I'm not a slave to this they don't know fact from fiction They don't know the blacks is missing They don't know they trapped in prison They don't know the path to prison was a math decision They don't know the wrath is quicken They don't know the ass they kissing on the path of mission To put their ass in prison They don't know black religion Fact and fiction They don't know mama didn't leave them niggas half the kitchen With half a chicken Fact or fiction we still hot, we still noble Red and blue pill global No matter the language, we still moguls We lost Gil Scott, then we lost Gil Noble Exercise the right to live like it is The revolution will not be televised It's being digitized On the come up, it's like watching the midget rise Sleeper giants grow another 20 feet tall With each alliance, I can teach the science I tear an instrumental down Before I lay my pencil down I'm going down to Tinseltown to burn the temples down And cap it off like dental crowns And my rights still reserve Fear of a black Illuminati I might just build with the Bilderberg To come and kill you nerds I'm shining like a Grammy host On the shores of Miami coast My Moringa plug looking like Sammy Sos The old one when he was well done like Granny's Roast The ancestors sponsor this I don't know them niggas, all they do is talk that conscious shit We living it, we in the streets like house of consciousness KTL in the ATL, MIA, NYC Multi-dimension like MIB We are not the same, I am a sovereign We are not the same, I am a problem I was made for this, I was made for this I was made for this, I was made for this I'm not a product of the cages that they raised us in Bred to be a king, I'm not a slave to this I was made for this, I was made for this I was made for this, I was made for this I'm not a product of the cages that they raised us in Bred to be a king, I'm not a slave to this Peace and Black Power, welcome to another edition of Baba TV House of Consciousness in Harlem, the Mecca With my big brother, Red Pill, once again Well, Red Pill, the first thing I want to deal with uh, is our brother uh, Robert, Robert uh, Mugabe, our president, whom it seems they, they're going to give a uh, illustrious send off, a golden handshake, a uh, promise of uh, I think $150,000, even though the man is 93 years old. And I overheard on the train a uh, discussion between. Uh, a white boy and one of our brothers and the white boy spoke up and they were talking about it and the white boy said well you know we've had our problems uh we had Genghis Khan and and what he did to us was terrible I wanted to jump up and say first of all that, that I don't give a damn about what Genghis Khan did that's an argument for white people that's the first thing and the second thing you can't put that on the same scale because Genghis Khan did not stay there uh, in Europe. Yeah, he hung a bunch of y'all. He should have stayed there, but he didn't stay there like those descendants of those white people did trying to control and own the land. He did what he did, but then he left. Yeah. Well, you know, the history of Zimbabwe, which was Rhodesia, and the European settlers, you know, um, is a very uh, interesting history. When you look at Mugabe and what he did, he basically nationalized, you know, his country. And of course, to Europeans all around the world, because of their uh, white inferiority mentality and the fact that they think that they have ownership over anything that they touch or anywhere that they land, and whatever political figure that exists, whether it may be Gaddafi, Hussein, Mugabe, or whatever, they, they collectively 
no. bang on that person and they collectively spread propaganda and cherry pick all of the negative things that those individuals did in order to justify their imperialism. Okay, so with Mugabe and his whole Zimbabwe situation, you know, they're, they're, they're dancing in the streets that he's been disposed of by a bunch of coon ass Negroes in Zimbabwe who basically want to hold hands with white people because they have some feeling, I don't know what the fuck they think, they think that life is going to be better when they hand over the land to the Europeans. You know what I mean? So... That golden egg that they're giving Mugabe, $150,000, that's a smack in the face. That's an insult. They're liquidating all of the funds that that man and his wife have. So that $150,000 payment to a 93-year-old man, that ain't saying shit. All right? That's not saying much. That's basically a Band-Aid on top of a gunshot wound. They, basic, they pulled a coup on him. They pulled a coup on that man. And he was gonna put his his wife in a in a leadership position, in a in a, um, the vice president who he fired, basically led a military coup with help of Europeans because the reports are coming out now that the Europeans definitely had a hand in that coup. And keep in mind, he locked the European up two weeks ago. I believe this was an American Becky, and she said something about Mugabe on social media, and they locked her ass up and was threatening to give her 30 years. And of course, well, you, you know what happens, you lock one of their women up or you do anything to some white bitch, they're going to come running for you. And that's what they did. And they took him out of power. I'm surprised that they didn't kill him. Right? I'm surprised they didn't kill him. So, you know, salute to uh, Robert Mugabe. You know, all of the politics about what's going on in Zimbabwe with the inflation and all of that shit. Go and do your research. I'm not the one to sit here, try to balance it out. All I do know, that's one of the last strong leaders on the continent. It is over now. Everybody else is a fucking puppet. It's official. There's, they got rid of Mugabe. They got rid of Gaddafi. They got rid of Saddam, who were holding back certain kind of people now the exploitation is going to be ramped up a hundred more times than it has already been ramped up so you know that little severance package there's ceos in america big pharma big beef prison complex industry military complex goddamn charlie rose uh, they're giving Harry Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein, more money as a severance package for sexual, for being a sexual, not just a sexual predator. Why? This thing is a, he's a criminal. But you see, none of them got arrested yet. We could get into that as well. So, yeah, I'm going to let them know. So, their severance package is even more than Robert Mugabe. And this was the leader of a goddamn country. So, Harvey Weinstein's severance package is more than goddamn Mugabe. So, what you saying? You ain't saying nothing. That's just basically to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, a band-aid on top of a gunshot wound. It means nothing. It means nothing. It's posturing. Mm -hmm. And let's go into a little bit of Harvey Weinstein. Is he back in the country yet? I know he's wanted in New York. Well, he's wanted all over the world. But in particular, they say they got a case, you know, in New York. They definitely got enough evidence to convict. But I haven't heard anything more uh, about it. Talk about Harvey. Yeah, there's a big cover-up taking place because... They're outing all of these other people in Hollywood as a result of Harvey being outed. So there's new stories that came forward that he was utilizing a Mossad intelligence group called a Black Cube to basically intimidate the people who were the, who we raped, uh, intimidate journalists. You feel me? Set up fake accounts. 
set up, he, he, they, they, the people in Black Cube were basically impersonating reporters, interviewing his victims, taking the information and bringing it back to Harvey. Then Harvey was putting the pressure on them to bury their stories or paying them out, basically buying them out. I said it before, with the it's 200 cases of white European pieces of shit, um, sexual predators, rapists, um, you know, uh, uh, every single other word in the book, sexual deviants who've been outed as committing sexual crimes. Why are they not being arrested? Why did Bill Cosby have to get locked up? And these Europeans, near one of them, they've put cuffs on them. Near one of them, nobody is calling for them to be arrested. There's no outcry. So what happens when the world is exposed to sexual, to all of these cases and nothing is done? It's called normalization. They are normalizing the behavior. They are normalizing what the fuck goes on in Hollywood. We live in a pro thought we live in a pro ratchet we live in a pro prostitute culture the hoes are winning so they're not doing anything but enticing hoes to go to hollywood that's what they're doing they're normalizing all of the things that take place in hollywood but they're not criminalizing it they're normalizing it they're outing it getting it out the way this is very dangerous, and then they're carrying on with business. Niggas still want to, they still want to go and uh, watch Justice League. They still want to know what's the new movie. They're not boycotting Hollywood. They're not boycotting the Weinsteins. They're not boycotting anything. People are just sitting back saying, oh man, that's fucked up, yo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, look at what happened. But nothing is being done. Not what happened to Bill Cosby. You don't see that being done in Hollywood. They're not doing that to these wealthy uh, Europeans of influence. They're letting them go off the hook. So that's called normalization. And when you see normalization takes place, it means that there's no justice. So the next step is basically to say, you know what? Now Hollywood is going to, it's an open secret that if you come to Hollywood, you got to touch your toes. So now you got niggas who will willingly go to Hollywood because that's what they're doing in these streets. Gay for pay. Like Nature Boy, touching their toes. And they're going to go to Hollywood and they're going to get down with the program. It's an open secret now, but there's no justice. So Harvey Weinstein, wherever he's at, he's chilling and ain't nobody coming for his head top. You feel me? It's interesting. And shout out to uh, Dr. Valentine, who, who at the lecture... Uh, he dealt with that and the hypocrisy and how uh, white people change the language to suit their social idea at the moment. Undercover homos, uh, past sexuals, bisexuals. You want the benefits of, of all this de decadent uh, oral sex with other men and all that, but you, but they change the language. Oh, I'm not really gay. I just, you know, do this for sport and play and all that. Protein shakes. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just a bromancer. Listen, there's something called manhood. Let's go over this thing. There's a, there's a line that you cross when you no longer a man. That's why you see men wearing wigs and dresses. When they look in the mirror, they don't see man no more. That shit has been whatever out of them. You know what I'm saying? So they appear as women because they can't look at them. You know when they say to you, you can't even look at yourself in the mirror? Well, nigga, go ahead and get a lace front and throw on some goddamn Fenty makeup. And he become a, he become a broad. You know what I'm saying? He becomes a woman because... That's how he's really feeling. Not on some gender fluidity. Nigga, you lost your manhood. You can't face a man in the mirror no more. That man has been skeeted out of you. So now you're going to go and you're going to be a, you know what I'm saying, a biatch. So miss me with all of the fuck shit because like Valentine said, it's only adding more confusion to an already confused world. This shit is upside down. This is a bizarre world. This is a world of complete confusion. And all of the gay people and all of these movements that they trying to feminize, they just making it more fucking difficult. They not bringing no solutions. Bottom line, ain't bringing no solutions. Are they fixing shit? Look at, the, look at this. Look at the streets. Look at what's going on. Are they helping anything? Go on Instagram and scroll through your timeline. It's more confusion. 
All right, it's no, it's more confusion. It's just a bunch of people living fucking lies, trying to convince you to live a lie with them. Trying to convince you who they're trying to put you in an alternative universe or an alternative reality, and trying to make you, uh, uh, um, you know, basically, uh, um, just live in a fucking matrix. That's what you see. That's what you see. And when you agree to the matrix, well, God damn it, you in the matrix. So you better stop playing, get along, go along. You niggas better stop touching your toes in corporate America. And stop trying to tuck your tail. You don't want to be a man on some Terry Crews shit. Letting niggas grab your package in front of your whiz. Just to be socially accepted. Just to be socially accepted. Just in order to, you know, chase your dream. You dream chasing. But the, but the, but the gay people on the casting couch will turn that dream into a nightmare. But because you following a dream, you'll allow people to violate you. You will basically compromise your integrity and all of this fuck shit. You'll be in a room claiming that you're heterosexual watching another man blow another man back out just for the money. Just for the money. Just for the money. You've had people who admitted it. Yeah, I was in a room watching niggas get it on. But hey, I'm in the hills of Hollywood and that's what they do. So I'm going along with it. No, you're a promosexual. You know what I'm saying? You're a promosexual and you're almost one drink away from being a homosexual. Basically. You know what I'm saying? We, we, you know, come on, fam. Come on, fam. I don't come from that school. We don't come from that cloth. So whatever the fuck they producing with these new niggas, I'm not a part of that. We're not a part of that. And we will never conform to the fuckery. I'll be the last man standing when all you niggas go bitch on us. When all you niggas just conform and turn into some weird ass niggas. I'll be the last one standing. I'll be, I'll be abnormal and what they're trying they're trying to make an abnormal society the new normal and now you're the new and then you're the new abnormal well god damn it i'm cool in my abnormalities you know what i'm saying so no man anytime you compromise your manhood keyword manhood you're no longer considered a man you got to come up with a new definition as to who the fuck you are and there's no such thing as oh i used to suck dick and i used to touch my toes but now i read a few books and shit and i'm conscious i've had a reawakening and i'm only attracted to women no my nigga that you cross that line there's no coming back maybe with the wizards we can understand that but when you get penetrated that's like a fucking seal You know what I mean When they crack the seal my guy There's no coming back You can't reseal that shit You know what I'm saying I'm just getting head from another man That's not gay Who told you that Who are your teachers They get caught up in this new age And this feministic teaching And all of this weirdo shit from the white people And then they try to regurgitate that in our community No Go back to the master teachers And understand what they taught that's what I'm standing with Elijah. I'm standing with Garvey. I'm standing with Malcolm. I'm standing with the master teachers. I'm standing with the ones who laid this shit out and told you how to be a man. They rocking with Rome. They rocking with Western civilization. They're trying to regurgitate the shit some old Jewish lady in their classroom who was a goddamn a trisexual taught them. No, no go. That's no, that we are in a no-fly zone, nigga. That shit will never fly over here. I don't know who be letting that shit fly, but we ain't letting that fly. That's a no-go. So, you know, be a man and be proud of being a fucking man and, and do what men supposed to do. Be a warrior. Dr. Francis Quest Wilson on page 192 of the ISIS papers defined manhood. She said manhood is defined as a warrior-like uh, soldier-like um, approach to white supremacy. That's black manhood. Nothing else. Not beating up another brother. Not ice grilling niggas as you walk around but you scared to ice grill your fucking social worker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Not, not scared to confront white supremacy because we don't got no beef. We don't got no smoke. What about the, what about the oppressive, overt, covert enemy that's washing you niggas? What are you doing about that? That's manhood. When your ass is on the front line risking it all. You know what I'm saying? Risking it all. That's manhood. Not falling to the temptations of being, you know, in the melting pot with just everybody who don't even like you. 
who's only feeding off of you, who's only feeding off of your energy and your swag and your spirit trying to clone you. And won't and, and will not culturally exchange. They not giving you nothing that they got, but they want everything that you got. Fuck out of here.